Okay, so question here, is it possible to have icons in tables uh, within ArcGIS dashboards? Yes, it is indeed. So you see here, I have my dashboard from lesson five, where we covered automation and dashboards. And so this is dealing with properties, okay? Which, which actually lends itself quite well uh, to what we're about to do, because icons, you know, I, I can throw up a table uh, that might have, you know, status for sale or sold. Uh, and different icons for each, okay? So let's set that up now. If I go to add, okay, so let's add an element. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add an element stacked on top of the map. I'm gonna say table, I'm gonna select properties. So this is, this is my properties data set, okay? So I have group values or features. I'm gonna select features here. And what I'm gonna do is add field and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna add status first, okay? So I wanna put icons on whether it's for sale, whether it's sold, uh, and then I wanna put in the address, I wanna put in price, I wanna put in how many beds it has, how many bats, okay? Uh, now, quick tip when you are dealing with this, I know it's aside from this, but if I went into table, um, always when I'm putting in, when I'm kinda of gonna do any arcade within tables or, or um, lists or anything like that, what I want to do is kind of make like, you know, I always want to try and fit my widget or my element uh, fit to data. And there's actually a good thing in here called column sizing, fit to data. Uh, and what it does is it takes, you know, everything within the actual line and then puts like, you know, it puts it in a cell uh, that, that's greater than the address, okay? You know, so like if I fit the element width, everything's going to be uniform. If I fit the data, I don't get any of these like, you know, uh, ellipses here where I just get like fit to data, perfect. So this is just a quick tip for you. Where I want to head next though is into values. Uh, and you can see here by default then I have different options. I can say, oh, you know, I want my text to be bold up the top, you know, uh, and I can do that, right? So like within my table, it's gonna be bold text now. Uh, and I can say, I want it to be center, I want it to be right. Whatever it is, I'm just gonna leave it as default for now. But watch what happens when I enable advanced formatting. Check out these changes here. Completely different interface. Okay, so I get my arcade window here, that's fine. Get an option to refresh script. But down here I have icons, okay? So here's how to get the icons from it. So I'm gonna expand this. Uh, and I only have two that I want to go in uh, and, and symbolize by icon. So I have for sale here and sold. Notice that when I go to add here, let's go, there's, there's tons of different icons to choose from um, if you want to, right? Uh, for now, I think I'm probably just going to go with these two here down in, in miscellaneous. So I want to have like a key. Uh, for sold and note when I put in the name it's exactly how it appears in my attribute table okay so if I have a list of choices a list of domains whatever it is within my attribute table a list of types it has to be exactly as it is here that I'm typing it in so capital S on sold and I want to go down and maybe just put a price tag and put in for sale, but notice that I'm putting in a capital F, I'm putting in a space here, there's no underscores within my data, so I'm saying for, capital F, space, sale, capital S, okay? But now when I go in here, uh, you'll notice that that hasn't changed anything, right? <laughs> um, so what I need to do next is I'm gonna expand this arcade formatting window, okay? Uh, and you'll notice um, by default, okay, so it says returns, and it's telling me all the different ones, okay? And so you can see here, status is the one that I want. It's down the bottom. By default, by applying bold, it's, it's just put in another little tag on that data, but essentially what I'm doing here is it's telling me everything that's in my table from display text, text color, background color, you know, the, the text alignment. If I wanted to change this, I could. Um, but what I'm interested in is going into icon name, okay? So this is gonna call those two icons. And really all I have to do from here 
is delete these two out, delete these two little quotation marks out, uh, and if you want, you can just copy this as far as the square brackets, go into icon name just below the comma, paste that in, and delete out your curly bracket and your dollar sign. So you should have dollar sign, data point, open square brackets, open double quotation marks, status, so the name of the field, close double quotation marks, close square brackets. So what that does then is it adds the icons to it. Okay? Now, if you're going to say, oh, you know what, that, that's great, but I really need, you know, my icons. If it's, if it's a different icon, uh, what I want it to do is, is be a different color. Okay, so for this, I'm going to defer to Canva Color Wheel. Um, has, has a good website that you can just kind of drag and drop these things, and you can see here that it, that it lets you know, oh, this is, you know, uh, good colors to go with whatever so whatever color you choose it's quite good for my use case because I only have two um, but quite cool as well if you have different ones you can go back in and say oh you know what this this color goes really well with you know this this type of right uh, and we covered that in lesson five uh, color wheels and, and you know defining your colors uh, on your dashboards it's kind of like an art in and of itself but for now, I just want two values, okay? So you can specify your own colors as well. But I only have two values. I have one for sold, one for for sale. I'm going to go back into my arcade formatting. Uh, and remember, in lesson five, we covered off, you know, getting started with arcade. <clears throat> and 10 times out of 10, what I need to have in arcade first is called a variable, okay? So VAR. Um, I can call this whatever I want, okay, so you'll notice that uh, Arcade, unfortunately, is a very American-centric uh, programming language, as, as are most, um, but I have, you know, color is spelled incorrectly in my book, you know, but I can put in, if I'm putting in a variable, I have control over that, I don't have control over the functions or the way Esri have, you know, called these elements, so unfortunately, when it comes to, like, you know, icon color, or text color, uh, I have to go with the American way of saying things, but it doesn't mean I can't be a little rebel here and put in status color uh, and, you know, spell it correctly. Uh, but what I need to do is say equals and put in this function called decode. So it's going to look up everything within um, within this, this field, okay? So within this column in my attribute table, it's going to look ev up everything in here and it's going to search for whatever I put in below, okay? Now, from here, uh, what I can do, you see it's added in an extra closed bracket. I don't actually need that, okay? So decode, open square brackets, put in my dollar sign data point, open square brackets, open double exclamation marks, and just put in status. Remember, this is case sensitive, so you need to put in a capital S here. In, in my case, I need to put in a capital S, it's always going to depend on your attribute table. Um, but for here, I need to make sure that this is uh, corresponding exactly to uh, this field status. Okay. When I'm done there, I'm going to put in a comma. I'm going to go into the next line now. Go tab. And I put in single quotation marks. And I say sold, comma, space, Single quotation marks again, uh, and here's where the color wheel comes in because I need these uh, hex values here. Okay, and um, so it's whatever the one you know it's typically a six-digit code, and it has a hash sign before it. And if you put it in here, put in a comma, and I say uh, open up my single quotation marks again. Say for sale. So exactly the same thing that I did with the indicators. I'm doing in this, comma, open, single quotation marks, go back to your color wheel. If you want to use a color wheel or you come prepared with your own colors, that's cool too. Use them just as so long as they're in hex uh, formats. Should be fine. Click, um, 
comma again, click onto the next line, and now what I want to do is open single quotation marks, close my bracket, and put in a semicolon. Yeah? So there's my variable. So I specified my variable. If it's sold, so decode, look up everything in this table. If you find sold, give it this color. If you find for sale, give it this color. Anything else, just return no data or white. Yeah? Um, and equally as well, like if I had 14 different types of values within my attribute table, I'd specify these things 14 times. Or if I just wanted to say, you know what? Uh, if it's sold, I want to give it a green color. Uh, you can just delete out for sale and it'll do that as well, right? But I have my variable here, sold for sale. If I want to go down now to status, same thing I did with icon name, only you'll notice I have icon color. Delete out these uh, single quotation marks. And what I want to do instead is just type in whatever my variable is. I can copy it if I want. Just go down to icon color. So status, color, color spelled correctly, and click done. And that's now going to change um, the icon colors. And then you can go, you know, uh, like hopefully that's giving you the base now that you can go and say, hey, you know what, I want to change the, uh, the, the text name as well, right? And you can do that. It's just called um, status color, right? So if I wanted to put in my text color now, just have to delete this out these two single quotation marks and put in status color and click done and now you can see it changes as well right so you're not restricted just in the icon color I've specified a variable now um, and you can go in and put that in right red's probably not a great one for for sale <laughs> right but uh, I'm sure you get my drift uh, and I'm sure uh, you're gonna have lots of fun putting in icons and advanced formatting within your tables within ArcGIS dashboards.